after it. And Medusa for Miracle, of course, that final hero out on the map. The security plan for Team Nigma. The battle begins. Ooh. Aramis gets his roll cancelled. Nice storm hammer, but with the raises coming, oh, Aramis has survived, has he? One more hit. Not coming from Nigma. GH and Kuro are still chasing forward towards Shad, towards Aramis. And another roll away. And this means Storm gets full control of that first wave in the mid lane. Range creep there coming for him with the remnant. Secures two CS at the same time. So lanes as they stand, Enigma Clockwork bottom. And Vengeful Spirit is making a, a walk towards mid. He sure is. Celery stealing some Eidolons, though. <laughs> Taking one of the first ones, the, the prime Eidolons, and having them split. Shadow Fiend is... Oh, jeez. That's a lot of stacks. RMS rolling into Kuro up at top. And this Vengeful Spirit trying to stop the wave drag back, but... Pretty difficult job to succeed at. And yeah, boom in the mid lane, even in farm with the Shadow Fiend. Try and get some denies under that tower. And these lanings from both teams, very, very aggressive. Like bottom lane, Radiance under the Dire Tier 1, trying to farm up and pressure Mind Control's Enigma. GH is blocking camps to make sure Celery doesn't have free access to those creeps. And then top lane, it's been pushed all the way to Radiant Tier 1. No pull count for Kuro. And they're trying to roll towards Miracle, missing out on the stun. It does wander out of the Blood Rite as well. Vortex. And the kickback. I mean, he kicks the stone to slow him down. I think it might be worth going for the actual kickback on the Shadow Fiend. They miss up hill and the Fairy Fire's there. They don't get the takedown. I think a misplay from Aramis potentially. And they turn with a raise and the hits and first blood. It's actually boom. Boom killed Wii. Now he wants another one. A bonus kill on Kuroki. One more hit. He's going to get it under the tower. There we go with the overcharge. Overload, in fact. After that remnant. Nice, says Aramis. As he trades his life for two on the storm. Glorious thanks. He does, they pinged it out. Stupendous! <laughs> yeah, and Storm's like natural movement is to push out of that mid wave and then go back to those three jungle camps from the mid lane. So that ward should be able to see him doing ex exactly that. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, I find it interesting that Aramis decided to, to go for the boulder kick. A boulder smash to slow down the Shadow Fiend. Maybe thought that he wasn't quite in position for the kickback of the hero itself. But he'll be lurking around mid lane regardless, trying to, again, aim towards Wii. Shut down the SF and GH does rotate in to try and bodyguard, to try and catch him out. They've got Enchant, dispels the DD. It's the Shadow Fiend in trouble. Vortex dragging back in and this Aramis Earth Spirit. Right place, right time with the Enchantress to help out. Quackwork wanders back towards the tier one and Shadow Fiend two deaths in a row. Not looking hot for Weeha. Denied. 
Radiant structures are fortified. A good roll. And the kick. They're trying to actually chip away at Kuroki. Mystic Snake. Dealt with by the magic yeah. stick. And bounty runes. Spawning up five minutes in as mind control removed and GH chasing Shad, but they've got a sent with a stomp in a second's time. Shad gonna give him the runaround now and back on the tower. Or oh, the tower aggro, the tower aggro, he gets it off, but not in time. GH sprinting away from Celery as they do chain him up, stun him with a magic missile. Central stomp is still ready. He's trying. Oh, they get the Malphys on him. And maybe GH dies, Central Stomp. It's going to take another two hits from now. And they smoke under the creep so they don't have any more vision. Oh, he sure is. Ball Lightning, he's hit level six. And they're trying to raise him, but we just can't get the job done. Kuroki was here, but didn't have mana for stun or anything, so no way he could save him. And again, another kill on the Shadow Fiend, a Storm Spirit. Dyer's middle oh, tower is under attack. Storm. Yep. <laughs> Level seven. Level seven storm with arcane rune. Look at RMS, he's hunting for it. Where are you, buddy? Where's that shadow fiend? Come here. They're pinging out saying he has to come back to lane sometime. Three heroes still, all circling. Sharks tasting blood in the water as we. He's got a couple of wounds on him and they do spot him. Radiant Observer Ward sees a raise happen in that large camp. RMS can get the roll. Storm can follow through with it. And that's why Nigma bringing both Clockwork and the Vengeful Spirit in towards mid lane. Storm with about 700 HP. Ball lining away to dodge the stun. Very nicely done. And now it does seem for a moment at least, Nigma have a bit of a bit of calm, a bit of peace and quiet for Wee's Shadow Fiend. Boom. On to GH. Does have the Vortex as well. Doesn't want to use it. Just get that ball lightning going. A mega kill streak now for your Storm Spirit. And like you were saying, this top lane Radiant where Bloodseeker's been left alone, the surprise rotation from Aramis gets on top of the Medusa, but it's just forcing her out of late. Not really getting a kill, but they see, they see the SF. They want we are real bad. We cancel the CP. Yo, yo, yo. We cancel the CP. Oh my god, no. That is painful for him. He's dead. He tries to Requiem, but he's dead. So what? He tried to TP bottom, then he cancelled it. And he's stuck up in that jungle. So both the spirits were able to find him. Regen rune, Kuroki, deny it. Yes. Yes, buddy. You did something. <laughs> Kuroki's dying mid lane. Dying it is. Tower is under attack. Yeah, four Dyer's deaths, eight minutes in. He is Dyer's still level six. Bottom tier attack. one's fallen. Enigma's coming down here to try and soak up some of the farm that's been left for him. And Wee's like, guys, g give me something, please. Everybody in the triangle. Well, Shadow Fiend finds a shovel. Oh, another soul for his collection. A cobalt soul. Miracle Dyer's Medusa. Top, is under top net worth on Enigma side. Double Wraith Band heading into Manta. Radiant's bottom tower is under on the Enigma side. <laughs> and maybe attack. in the grave. RMS and boom, yet again, this long range initiation from the two spirits pairing up beautifully. There just doesn't seem to be a way for Nigma to react. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures. All are the fortified. towers are falling though. Bottom Dyer's tier one, top, top tier one, fallen. mid tier Watch one, all dropping. Cheap and easy money going to the pockets of Viking as they jump mind control. Nice silence as well. Made sure there was no black hole play by MC. And again, the two spirits. Radiant Storm and Earth. Is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, and you don't need a turnaround item, right? You don't need, you know, that race to Orchid is very usually, uh... Like it's gonna have to be we. And even mind control is soaking up all the bottom lane farm and top lane not really safe for anybody of Nigma right now. So three heroes down bottom. And who is it? Bloodseeker and Storm spotted. Rod of Aethos from Toby with a rupture. Yeah. <laughs> they got him. And now maybe the Medusa as well. They see Miracle diving in with a nice roll, silence and stun, in with the blood right we go. Miracle gets the stun gains off and the swap back. And Kuro saves the day. Viking though, take control of this jungle and make sure that the ancient stacks are not completely taken out by Enigma. They've also spotted Wii with a blood right. Rod of Atos there from Toby again. And well, Shadowfiend just doesn't stand a chance, does he? Oh, Requiem. Yeah, nearly had it. He'll be full mana again in no time anyway. Clarities are running. 6k lead at 13 minutes. Viking running away with this one. Taking out the Ancients, which had been so delicately stacked up by the dire team for their Medusa. Who doesn't... Uh, has Yasha, but doesn't have anywhere near enough money to get to that Manta. What's Sven got? I, I feel like I've ignored Sven the whole time. It's just been Storm. <laughs> it's been Storm and Earth Spirit. Radiant Oscar. One, one, one. Midas into Echo Saber. And then Aghanim's queued up. Bottom tower is under attack. Doesn't even want to think about BKB. Oh, SF. I mean, how much money is that now? A thousand? Nine hundred until Yule Scepter? And even then, that's only a, a part of the build. You need Yules and Blink and BKB to even... Oh, look at that! Atos into Blood Right. Again, they find the Shadow Fiend. Immediately down to half HP, and the storm zipping in with a Vortex to cancel the TP, and boom, finds yet another one. Taking down the Shadow Fiend for the sixth time this game. Incoming! Lift 
But a black hole maybe now. Mind control. He needs to get it done. But it's cancelled immediately. The Sarge comes. Aramis with a gorgeous play. The Storm still does die though. The pushback from the Cogs. He's now the Stone Gaze on the Toby. The swap back in. And Enigma hold their high ground. A big kill on the Storm. 557 gold. And maybe another one here. A bonus kill on the Toby. He's tanky. But he's swapped back in yet again by Kuro. Oh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Storm's coming in. Miracle gets tagged by the Veil and the Storm's magic damage is going to come in and shred through Miracle's HP pool and potentially GH, but a good pushback with the Cogs and even better roll inside the Cogs. TP out, cancel again by the Vortex and GH. He was here to save that Medusa, but it wasn't to be well mid lane. They get the Atos, Blood Right, Centaur, Stomp, Mind Control, say goodnight, you're done for. Bleed your life. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, this is where we need one of those family-style kind of cutaway scenes with Peter Griffin on the ground with a bruised knee just going, oh, for a good 30 seconds, because it is, it is getting painful now. Real, real painful. Shadow Fiend has, has your scepter. We've got an item on SF Lacoste. Dyer's are scanned. Stuns under Toby, Kuroki's blown up, and it looks like the Bloodseeker turns with a rupture. Storm out from Shan, but the Yours is up in the air, and with a Wii Requiem, they are going to try and get a Stone Gaze, but it's a reverse combo, not really paying off, and now they're rolling with a three-man Magnetize. Aramis is in with Boom, finding Mind Control, Wii turns with Razors, Shad does fall, and Miracle standing his ground, the Medusa's doing some decent work here. Viking can't battle up against Miracle, and Celery nearly dropping to the Snake, which flies across the map. GH, yeah, you're right, snipes out the Enchantress, and Enigma actually battled back in a decent manner. They found GH. Good swap again by Kuro, though, and Storm Spirit will be able to walk off. A little bit of damage coming forward. Toby with the Blood Right Atos. Incoming. Doesn't go for it. Medusa starting to become a problem. Yules onto Aramis now as the raises from Shadow Fiend. Not quite comboing up to finish him off, but a hook shot in. Does find a catch on the Celery. Sven can't stick around. The full staff out. Celery bailing away. And they're up to GH, cancelling the TP. And a bit more damage from Sven's little double tap there will secure it. While the buyback from Aramis, he's rolling in deep, but he's been stunned up. Caught by the magic missile inside the Midnight Pulse, and Aramis is fed away. Mm, we are, though, found by the Storm Spirit, and they do get a Storm Hammer catching out that Enigma. The black hole there, solo onto Sven. Three heroes surrounding him, and Shan has no backup. Yes, you do take down Wee, but you're losing the rest of your team. Finally, Sven's able to turn around, but the Mech from Mind Control healing back up his squad, and Medusa still here in the it's the battle, standing and fighting, finding a lot of damage onto Boom, burning through his mana, but they've got to contend with a Bloodseeker as well. Boom, with the blood right in the vortex, still tag on to Miracle, but they can't finish him off. Miracle's too tanky. And the regen is actually going to go to Miracle. Radiant's top tower is under attack.
Yeah. No item progression since the veil he got, I don't know, four, five minutes ago? Radiant are scanning. So falling back a little bit as Sven realizing he does need that BKB. Cogs, magic missile, and of course the magic damage coming out from mind control. Not really becoming a problem. Medusa with a triple oh, item drop. What do we get there? Philosopher's Stone? Pupil's Gift, Ring of Aquila, Vampire Fangs. Vikings so far are only getting an Imp's Claw. And finally, after what feels like an era of waiting, Viking are back in the Roshan pit only to be immediately scouted by GH. Well, he's going to walk in there, and they know there's no black hole, but hookshot. Who have they found? It's the backlight. Celery's blown up with no buyback on Enchantress. Viking, they can't finish the job. This might allow Enigma to walk into the pit and do Roshan themselves. Roll in, hello, magnetize with a veil, and the Storm Spirit zips in onto Mind Control, trying to blow up the Enigma before any mech or yield, but he gets it up in time with the Requiem. It does play out and kills off Toby. Sven trapped in the cogs, but slices through GH, while Miracle, yet again, this... This... <laughs> this last bastion of defense. Roshan has fallen to the dam now. So, maybe this is a stupid question, Lacoste, but why can't they kill the Medusa? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. She doesn't care about rupture. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under Dyer's attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom tower is under Speaking attack. Speaking of Wee, do you think he's laughing now? <laughs> what was it, from, from zero 08 to 3 and 8 now? Incoming! Ewell's BKB. Looking not, not awful anymore for the Shadow Fiend. Focus me more. Waste all on me. And now what? My Medusa is ready. Smoke up from Nigma now as well. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower <laughs> is under Just attack. Just look at Miracle. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Storm. Boom is battling GH. But the rest of the squad is kind of coming in. They've got the stun. Boom is actually dead. Storm Hammer lands on mind control. Boom's got nothing left. Uh, okay. Now Sven. Well, he swapped back. Mind control. They've got a BKB black hole. Well, Sven's cool up in this now, isn't he? Medusa's coming in to try and get a bit of damage forward. Shad turns and does whack down my... Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't get the final touch. Mind control walks away and Miracle's going to shred through Shad. Oh, shit. Shad's dead. Toby and Celery, they've got to run. Yeah. 
GH, and you, you are spot on, Lacoste. They are in full control of this game. Medusa's radiant structures are fortified. <laughs> wow. Elemental gold. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Deary me. BKB for Enigma coming. Not even bothering with Blink Dagger. And Storm Spirit, he was up to like 19 or 20 Bloodstone charges now. Down to 16. And Enigma Radiance middle tower out on this Radiant tower. side of the map. While Viking have no way to actually start these fights. And that was the two, the two early charges of Sven's BKB. Now he's down to eight seconds now. He's not actually been able to utilize them too effectively. Radiance top tower is under attack. I mean, what's going to happen mid lane? There's an Invis SF with BKB Requiem onto the Storm. And BKB themselves to cancel the Requiem. Now onto the Medusa. But damage, like you've been saying, is kind of lacking. Medusa just doesn't give a damn. Turns, stands her ground, does a little wave, says hello there, boys. What are you, what are you up to? You having, a, you having a good weekend? Yeah? You doing all right? Why can you just have to run away? Radiant are scanning. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. It does get tapped by the, uh, the overclocking stun. And these hook shots are going to come flying thick and fast, and now Viking. They've got to find sneaky little spots on the map to weasel themselves a little more farm and a little more room Radiant's to breathe. Storm cutting attack. wave. Bottom lane being pushed by Radiant's Aramis and Shad. Has fallen. Dire and Medusa just planting herself in this Radiant Triangle, continuing to farm freely. And they can also move towards the Tier 2 up there as that and final key objective to unlock the base. Please Radiant's yes. top tower is under attack. Radiance top Maybe. tower has fallen. Radiance top tower is under like, attack. Yeah. Like, maybe if they had a halberd on Bloodseeker or, you know, Sven did a little departure from the normal Radiant's item build and went halberd on Sven or something, then they would have something to deal with this Medusa. But Storm, he has to come in and ball lightning the creeps. They have to clear these waves. <laughs> a move. She's just a moving into the base. Radiant's top barracks are under attack. Radiant's top barracks has fallen. <laughs> oh, baby. That has been one of the weirdest turnarounds of a game I've seen, and it is just all honest. Miracle Medusa. That fourth pick Medusa with eventual spirit. The bait and switch with a shadow fiend early on in that draft. And now we are he's scaling, you know, he's 12k now worth. Eight deaths mean nothing at this point. And the thing, the thing is, right, there were, eight, there were eight early deaths, right? There were eight deaths in the first, you know, 18, 19 minutes, and now he hasn't died for a while. They'll, they'll find Celery. It's an enchantress. She's just out here warding, making a bit of space. Toby, run. 
You can't stay there. In the bottom jungle, though, we're at the outpost. They've got a Yule's up on the storm. Requiem coming, but BKB's there from Boom, of course. GH does drop here to Aramis and Boom. And we're going for the TP home. In the meanwhile, though, Medusa's found some tasty targets. Toby is a treat back in uh, the left-hand side of that jungle. Earth spout! Stupendous! It's just late. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Courier has been killed. All right, it's lane number two time. It's Repek, it doesn't matter. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Yeah. Okay, they initiate on the Medusa. They've burned through pretty much all of her mana. She throws a Mystic Snake and she seems all right. Stormhammer's there and Viking, well, what's next? Feels like they're getting a bit of a taste of their own medicine. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And a smoke. Radiant are scanning. Blaze here. Yeah, coming back to the first Roche attempt, the fact the Viking poked their head in two or three times and they just didn't have the damage to actually kill off Roshan, and they kept trying it. We're gonna see a. Uh, Bit of deja vu now as the hookshot initiation from GH overclock and hookshot again trying to come out as the rest of Enigma surrounding Boom and there's the Shadow Fiend Jules BKB focusing on the Toby double raise take him out with Miracle getting the kill buyback from the Bloodseeker that's buyback number one and BKBs they are starting to wear out very quickly and Medusa just Plonks herself in the Roche pit. Dark Trolls there to say hello. And a Daedalus for Miracle now, you called it. No need to go rapier. Got him. Oh, Stone Gaze to secure the Roshan. Storm zips in. BKB from Boom, but it doesn't help too much. And he is just annihilated by the Daedalus hits of Miracle. She's an age picked up now as Boom buys back. Blood right by the Black Hole. Onto the two of them. Shad caught inside it. And Nigma, they've done it. They come back and be mounted successfully. Boom zips in, but he can't do a damn thing. A five man wipe with double buybacks. And Team Nigma now looking to close out game two and tie things up. When was... When was the last time we died? I feel like it legitimately was like 15 minutes ago. That's great. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower has fallen. What do you? Radiant's middle tower. What is do under you even attack. do? Like we is just Radiant's casually hitting barracks <laughs> while Miracle's taking tier fours. Oh, Celery, he's walked into the wrong neck of the woods there, hasn't he? They do roll in, Storm finding the Ventral Spirit. Try to take her off, but Boom is in trouble. Has to roll back up to the base. The Scardy hit following Aramis. Oh, it takes him down. Long range artillery from the Medusa. And she's going to go and plant herself on the front lines again as we blinks in with a BKB Requiem. Boom down with no buyback, and that has got to be game. A buyback from Aramis. <laughs> Shad, oof, and... Oh. <laughs> hey, real difficult one for Viking to understand what happened.